Hi aspirants, in yesterday's United Nations inaugural function of the World Geospatial Information Congress, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that technological advancement in India is an inclusion and not an exclusion. So what is this inclusiveness and how it is creating growth in the country? As a serious aspirant, you must know it because this is what present in the GS3 syllabus of your mains examination in UPSC. So if you are an ambitious aspirant, do watch this video continuously. Now let's start with the term inclusive growth. See, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, inclusive growth means an economic growth that is distributed fairly across the society and creates opportunities for all. See, in broad terms, no, this inclusive growth means equality of opportunities for all economic participants in the country. As we can say that equality in all aspects, that is equality in health, education, food security and social protection. Then it also includes a method of growth that is environmentally sustainable, then aspires for good governance and aids in the creation of a gender conscious society. Okay. See, some of the key elements of inclusive growth include skill development, financial inclusion, then technological advancement, economic growth and social development. So, these are all some of the elements that need to be addressed to achieve inclusive growth. See, so far we would have seen many things about the financial inclusiveness or even we saw some of the inclusiveness regarding the climate change mitigation measures. Now, let us see about the technological advancement in India in the aspect of inclusive growth. First of all, let's have an idea about technological advancement. See, technological advancement is the improvement and innovation of the utility of science. Technological advancement occurs when technologies become more precise, accurate, efficient or more capable. And these scientific and technological advancements have made many important changes throughout the history. Remember the smartphones now we are using which is evolving day by day and it is now helping us in many ways such as to do money transactions and hearing songs, watching movies, browsing through the information etc etc. This is itself a technological advancement, right? And note that even this technological advancement like mobile phone or smartphone is creating inclusiveness. How? Now let's see the technological advancement in India as mentioned in the news article and how it is creating inclusiveness. First, let's talk about the Swamvitva scheme which got mentioned in the news article. See, Swamvitva means survey of villages and mapping with improvised technology in village areas. Okay, this scheme is a reformative step towards establishment of clear ownership of property in rural inhabited areas. How is this done? It is done by mapping of land parcels with the help of drone technology and by providing record of rights to village household owners. So, what can you understand from this? So, with the use of this technology, inclusiveness is portrayed. Okay. And interestingly, India is not only focusing domestically in the aspect of inclusive growth, but also involves the neighbors in the process of inclusiveness. Take for example, the South Asia satellite GSAT-9, which is formerly known as SARC satellite. It is a communication and meteorology satellite operated by the ISRO for the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. See, this satellite is serving the needs of some of the SARC member nations such as Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Maldives, Nepal and Sri Lanka. Here you can take the India's technological advancement in the space sector which helps in facilitating connection and communication in India's neighborhood. See, this is also an example for inclusiveness. Then India has given a boost in the manufacturing of drones or unmanned aerial vehicles and opened up the space sector to private entities. So the participation of the private in this is an example for inclusive growth. So we saw how the village inclusiveness is occurring. Then we saw in the international level how India is promoting inclusive growth. Then we also saw how the private sector involvement is creating inclusiveness. 
Now let's see about the indices that are used in measuring inclusive growth. First is the inclusive development index. See, it is an assessment of one or three countries' economic performance that measures how countries perform on economic progress in addition to GDP. Okay, and this index is prepared and released by the World Economic Forum. See, the index has three pillars. namely growth and development inclusion then intergenerational equity and sustainability then in the recent 2018 assessment norway tops the chart followed by iceland and luxembourg in advanced economies and where is india standing see india has been ranked 62 out of 74 emerging economies here india is ranked below the neighboring countries that is it is below pakistan sri lanka and nepal Evidently Pakistan has been ranked 47 Sri Lanka is standing in the 40th position then Nepal in the 22nd position so by knowing this ranking no you would have understood why this inclusive growth is very much important for a country see only by creating inclusive growth an economy can grow at a huge level okay then let me tell you one more index to measure this inclusive growth Take the Social Progress Index. The index is published by the non-profit organ Social Progress Imperative. See, the SPI measures the well-being of a society by observing social and environmental outcomes directly rather than the economic factors. The social and environmental factors include wellness, that is, including health, shelter, and sanitation. Then it also includes equality, inclusion, sustainability, and personal freedom and safety. So regarding this index no in the recent 2021 assessment Norway has topped the index followed by Finland and Denmark then what about India India has been ranked 117 among the 168 countries which is much behind the BRICS nation so these are all some of the indices that we are using in the measurement of inclusive growth So so far we have seen what is inclusive growth and how the technological advancement is creating inclusive growth then we also saw how the inclusive growth is measured using two indices okay now let me tell you what is the issue prevalent in achieving this inclusive growth see in india no the major challenges for inclusive growth include lack of adequate employment opportunities despite india having the largest working population then lack of adequate education and skill development and the lack of social and physical infrastructure all these are also the major challenges for achieving the inclusive growth okay so we saw the issues right now we have to address the issues so now let us talk about the possible solutions see the central government along with the help of the state government it should formulate policies to eradicate poverty which is the foremost problem faced by india in achieving inclusive growth see as i already said what is the concept of inclusive growth involving everyone in the economic growth or financial growth or you can say in the nation's growth okay So the government should also promote sustainable development practices by keeping in mind the future generations and also the government should ensure that the inclusive growth will help in the empowerment of vulnerable and marginalized populations. See only by including everyone in the society you will be able to achieve a holistic growth or what we can say a huge growth. Okay? and thus we can conclude that achieving inclusive growth is equal to achieving nation's growth okay so that's all regarding this topic and if you want to know more about the financial inclusion we had covered it through schemes like atal pension yojana then pradhan mantri mudra yojana etc etc okay and for more updates regarding the upsc preparation watch our hindu news analysis regularly